of teams feel at times that the hardest part is just getting to the championships? Um, yeah, I think it's a part of the process. It's a step on the journey. Um, the way the qualification system works now, it, it does make every match throughout the season have some meaning and you can add to your average at, at any point, uh, which I think is, is really nice. Um, and then qualifiers is still an important match um, to make sure you get there. So, you know, I think we've, um, we've grown the program to a place where we, you know, we expect to go to championships every year and we expect to be one of the stronger teams competing, but uh, it's, almost, it's always a, an important part to just make sure you're there in the first place. You mentioned it's just the routine that you have every, every time of the year at this point. Sure. You know what you're going to do, Garps, you know, the time, and the championships. How nice is that just to be the so many of these kids have been here before? Sure. Yeah, it's definitely nice to um, have it as sort of routine, like you said. and. You know, this year we're going with uh, quite a number of seniors. So, like you said, they've been through the process before. Uh, Garks is a really important match for us to give us that extra preparation. There's a lot of teams that uh, don't compete again after the NCAA qualifiers until they get to championships. So, you know, to have our conference championships in between there and to have a very similar format in shooting over two days and, you know, a quality field of competition. Um, yeah, it's a great, uh, great preparation, and, and like you said, it's become for us part of our part of our routine and, and planning for championships. Has Akron hosted before? Uh, I don't believe so. Yeah, I think maybe the first time. How many first time NCAA shooters do you have? Uh, the only one we will have will be uh, Jenny Thrasher. Yep. I don't know. You talk talk a lot about individual one at a time you know, matches that kind of performance but during the year you track where you are hey we're first second third knowing how many teams qualify and what you may need to do to make sure you're in there i mean i know that is um, a problem but. yeah i think as a team and something we talk about not really um Certainly as a coaching staff, I think that's normal as staff that we look at the numbers and see how we're doing. And um, it's a very objective sport with a lot of numbers, so it's easy to track things and, and see where you are. Um, and the statistics are getting better and better at being out there and um, for the public to see or for people to look up. Um, so yeah, sure, we, we keep an eye on it. And um, you know, I think at the start of the year, you know, like many years in the past, we certainly expect to go to championships. But uh, you know, while we can't control our opposition and we we do have to focus on ourselves, um, certainly as a, a staff, we want to you know, out of the interest of the sport, just keep a check on how everyone else is doing. And I think even the team members, they all have friends on other teams and other rosters, and you know, just keep in touch and out of an interest, probably see how their friends are doing. And so I think it's, it's a small enough community and pretty natural to, um, to do that a little bit as well. When you examine the talent that you lost, uh, but what was coming in, was there any point this season that you got to that you could perform at this level, not just qualifying and getting back to another championship, but, but setting NCAA records? Uh, yeah, um, yeah, you know, we definitely had a lot of seniors, I think, at the beginning of the year probably wasn't something that was, um, you know, the th first thing that we thought about, um, you know, that, that we could shoot these type of scores that we have. Uh, I think we definitely had a lot of confidence in the team that we had. We had a great mixture of uh, all the returners coming back um, that we did. And I think it was, you know, almost like getting a new team member with, with Malis having redshirted last year. And then the two freshmen coming in have, um, you, know, you know, have done really well this year as well. So. You know, I don't know if there was a certain point this year, um, but I think just, you know, they were all ticking along. We had a great team atmosphere. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think the day we did break the, um, the national record the second time and, you know, shot the really big score, I think it, you know, surprised us all a little bit how big of a score that we'd shot that day. Uh, and it was just one of those days where all the team members had really solid days. Um, there wasn't, abund it wasn't an abundance of personal best, so it was maybe one or two, but they just all shot to their capabilities on the same day. And um, But yeah, I think we've just had a good team group this year, and um, you know, I think it's definitely a year where we've steadily improved throughout the year. So as a coach, that's what you want to see from 
them as individuals, uh, but both uh, as a team. And I think not just the two freshmen, but the older ones as well have, you know, worked hard and slowly and steadily improved uh, throughout the whole year, which has been great to see. Next Friday and Saturday morning, when you have your team together for the last time, what do you say to them and what is that talk like? Um, well, well, wait and see when we get there. Um, I, I think a lot of it, uh, it revolves around, um, you know, just keeping everything normal and just, uh, you know, shooters are, um, they have their routines and they're, I think we're all creatures of habit a little bit. So it's going to be just sticking to our, our own routine and um, what we've done all year and that we don't need to do anything different or change anything. Um, and just try and uh, you know do what we can to make sure that they're as focused on their task and themselves, and um, to just go out and um, you know let it happen. Do you ever wish that it was maybe like some other sports where you could let your emotions out a little bit? Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've, I've been around the sport for so long as a as an athlete and, and now as a coach. Yeah, that's just the nature of the sport. Um, you know, I think there's you know after. After competitions, there are sometimes you know some emotions uh, that come with that, but um, you know you have to be able to control that as you go through. But I think that's part of the sport that a lot of them enjoy. That they are in their own little world. Or they're controlling what they're able to control, and um, you aren't influenced from a lot of those outside factors. So um, yeah, it's 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 just different. It's not maybe something that we we really think about a whole lot. You've had young talent before. You've had some senior leadership. Is it easier to manage uh, the young talent concerning may not realize what situation it's in, like with Jenny, or is it better to have a senior who understands but may be have a little bit more trepidation because of the um, situation? That's a good question. I think I think a lot of that depends on the individual. Um, I, I think it's a little bit of both. I think the the seniors they are older. They've they they know what to expect. I think there's less surprises for them, so they know what to expect and they're prepared for that. Um, they probably still have to work hard to control emotions that they may have and just uh, remind themselves that it is just you know another match and keeping it simple. Uh, for a younger person like Ginny who hasn't been there, uh, it's probably just making sure that um, you know she doesn't think too much and she just goes in there like you says and just you know go, goes for it. So um, you know that's maybe the danger sometimes in freshmen is just uh, you know, either being surprised by something or overthinking it or um, things like that. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit of both. I think sometimes the, and this is not just NCAAs, but our whole sport in general, you do sometimes uh, see uh, either younger or less experienced shooters that have success, you know, whether it's national level or Olympic trials all the way up to international competitions. And I think there is that element sometimes of just, uh, that sort of naivety that they're you know not necessarily aware of anything and they just go and shoot naturally like it's just another competition um, so I think that is the challenge for for all the team members is to be able to and that's why it becomes such a mental sport to be able to block out all those other factors and really um, shoot it like it is another day in practice or another match and not overthink it too much so you know, those are the challenges, I guess, whether you're a, a freshman or a senior or inexperienced or experienced to just keep it simple and just uh, kind of go and do what you, you know how to do. Everybody you bring in here is immensely talented and has competed in the U.S. and overseas. With, the, with Jenny, with what she has done this year, has it been in line with what you thought she was capable of doing? Uh, I mean, she's had an exceptional year. Um, you know, I think she's probably exceeded everyone's expectations, maybe even her own, um, on what she's been able to achieve so far. Um, but I think she, you know, is very um, single-minded. You know, she's very determined. Um, and then she's been able to, she's done a great job at listening to her teammates, uh, to us as a coaching staff, to anyone else that would would give her advice. And uh, so she's, she's been very coachable. and. Um, I think she's just, you know, she, she's just steadily improved uh, week after week, match after match. Um, so yeah, I think she's definitely, you know, exceeded, you know, our expectations for her and, and possibly her own as well.